Hello, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs. Welcome. Today I'll be sharing my earth prompt for the K3N's Cloth Tales uh, Weekly Stitch Project. And the prompt is earth. And here it is. I have one more page on this signature to do. And that first signature will be done. Um, I'm not even sure what week this is. I didn't write it down. Um, but this is what I chose to do for the earth. And so I just chose some colors of the sea or the oceans and some colors of the earth, browns and greens for the earth and the, the land and the grasses. And um, again, earth going into sky kind of colors. And um, so I decided that I wanted these on an angle. I didn't want them just straight across from each other or up and down. And this kind of, to me, made me think of the Earth's axis. And so I thought I would do them w just running a little angle through the strips. And the way I did that was I just laid them out. Um, I, I use these little strips from fabrics that I have, um, little off cuts of fabric that I've saved and I use for improvisational piecing. And um, so I would just take a strip and then lay another one on top of it, making sure that they were overlapping. And I just did that. I kept doing that with the strips. Now some were ripped, torn, and some were cut. But, um, and I chose blues and browns and greens. I'm just using some of these blues, but they would kind of overlap here. And I kind of made sure that they overlapped in this direction because I thought that would be my angle. And I just took a ruler, a small ruler, and I took my rotary cutter and I just cut the angle so that they each shared the um, reciprocating angle here. And so, and I, I overlapped them so that when I put them together, there wouldn't be any gaps. So when I laid them out on my little base fabric, which is this back here, I made sure that these strips overlapped each other so that there wouldn't be a gap here um, or any um, pulling away, curling up, anything like that. So... Once I had them all laid down on the base fabric the way I wanted them, I just stitched them down with a simple running stitch and chose a, a color of thread that went with the fabrics. And I think most of these were pearl cotton. Some were pearl cotton, some were uh, DMC floss, stranded floss. And I did two rows of um, running stitch on the strips matching the colors, the greens with the greens, browns with browns. I think this little tiny strip of brown here is the only one that I didn't do two rows on, but all the rest have two rows of running stitch on here. Can't I can't seem to sew a straight running stitch row, but <laughs> I guess it makes it look more interesting this way. Um, so once all the strips were done, I just did a, a buttonhole stitch along this dot divide here. And um, and then next to then that was in a green, and next to that I did a blue outline stitch along this divide. Then I drew a circle on here with um, a disappearing ink, and I did an outline stitch in a blue, and then I wrapped that, and then I did an outline stitch in brown, uh, representing again the colors of the earth to me in a sense, brown for the land and blue for the oceans or the seas. And um, so that was my um, piece. I thought, this is this is good. This is finished. And I just put a little solid strip. This one isn't broken up here um, to stitch this on to the background, to the signature. And while I was stitching this, thinking about the earth and its creation, um, there was a video on by a Dr. Ming Wang, and he's a world-renowned physician, eye surgeon, scientist, a Harvard graduate, MIT graduate, um, PhDs. And um, 
he was talking about the eye and how, as a scientist, he's always questioning and searching for answers. And he, he went to several sources to see could the eye, the human eye form in nine months in embryo um, to the extent that it is to the magnificent organ that it is that with all of its functions and um, capabilities. And the answer was no. And he shared that the eye functions, um, a, a large portion of the brain is dedicated to vision. And so it's really a magnificent organ. And he was an atheist and he concluded that there was a creator and it is God. And um, he said, once you get below the, the surface layers of the eye and you know, four years of study, when you delve deeper and deeper, you realize what a magnificent organ it is. And it's not by happenstance that it develops in embryo in nine months, that there was a, a divine plan. And I found that so interesting because as I was stitching this, I was thinking about the creation of the earth. And so on my page underneath, I wrote earth and I had written according to my beliefs, um, each day of the creation, day one, light was created, day two, the atmosphere or the firmament, day three, dry ground and plants, day four, sun, moon and stars, day five, birds and sea creatures, day six, land animals and humans or man, and day seven, of course, God rested. And I was also reminded you know, your mind thinks deeper and deeper as you're stitching, if you're thinking about what you're stitching. And I thought of Michelangelo's painting, and I wrote that down here, Creation of Adam, where the, he depicts the hand of God and the hand of Adam, the fingers touching. In other words, he was depicting the creation of man, Adam, by God, um, on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And um, so it kind of all came together for me, thinking of Michelangelo's painting, thinking my beliefs of the earth and how it was created, and then listening to this Dr. Ming Wang, um, just a seems like a very special person. But I, I thought how interesting his take on it on a creation, he went in further beyond the eye, but um, from an atheist to a believer in God. And I, I just found it all so interesting. And I only share this because as I was stitching, I'm sharing my thoughts, which kind of deepened my experience, uh, which made me enjoy this even more. And of course, we all have freedom to believe as we choose. We all have our own beliefs. And um, these are just, I'm just sharing what I was thinking and going along with my beliefs and how this video came up on my feed. And I just found it all kind of gelled together for me. So this was very interesting. And um, I thank you very much for joining me today. I hope um, there might be some little bit of inspiration here for you. And um, I enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to the next prompt, which is featuring the back of our stitching, which should be very interesting. So, again, thank you for joining me, and I'm wishing you many blessings. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.